Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about the unique features of GreenShift. So the first feature is optimization. In the blocks that use scripts, you can find a specific option for smart loading. This option allows to download scripts not when using the website, but when the user starts using your website, like for example, when scrolling or just moving the mouse. A similar option is available in many blocks, like for example in sliders, video, 3D, Lottie, and so on. Apart from this, all the other scripts and styles are generated very fast and easy, and we can check this here. So we are checking one of the sites on GreenShift, and as we can see, it has a value of 100 for performance, both for a mobile and de desktop version. And if we check the page source, as we can see, it doesn't use any cache plugins, neither it uses compression, scripts or styles. Additionally, in the plugin, there is a specific option for dynamic loading of blocks and pages. When you create a template, the plugin automatically creates a shortcut and also specific classes that will dynamically load this block. So let's check how it works. We will first create a block container, then we will add the short code that we have already copied, and also you need to copy the specific class on view trigger, and we will add them to advanced additional CSS classes. Then we click on update. So now our block is going to load, not during the page loading, but when it appears on the screen. Apart from this, there are also other triggers, like for example, a click trigger. We will create a button and then we will add the specific class the same way we did previously. Now, by clicking this button, our blocks are going to load. It's very helpful when creating a dynamic minimum. The second top feature is turning any layout to scrollable block as well as to a carousel. This is very important, especially on mobile devices. Mobile phone traffic takes up most of the traffic and this allows you to make any content in such scroll blocks that take a little space and are very similar to mobile phone apps. This option is available in Roblox. It transforms your blocks to scroll content on mobile devices. You can set breakpoints as well and other options. This option is also available in container block and there is such a hack here. So you can select all your content by clicking on shift button and transform it into a container like this. Now all our content is wrapped in a container block, as we can see here. And uh, now we can set options in the container itself. We'll enable smart scroll to inner items. And as we can see, now all our logos are located into a scroll block. We can also use carousel script. We can change the width as well. Also, we can enable scroll whole block and auto play and it will start automatically play. Here you can find many other additional options and we have looked into them more detailed on our previous video on how to create carousel from any content. Another option is called CSS Grid and Flexbox. CSS Grid is very convenient to use if you need to create columns with the same height that will adapt to your content. You can copy or delete them. You can also duplicate them without changing its content. Or you can stretch them over multiple columns. Flexbox allows you to dynamically manage the layout of internal blocks in the container itself. Both these options are available in the block, which is called container. Additionally, there is a block which is called CSS grid of containers. This is the same container, but there are already three columns created in it. And also there are some options that are already applied here. The next top feature 
is convert core gallery to advanced slider. Apart from the fact that initially this block is very functional, you can also convert an usual gallery into a slider. So we'll add a gallery, then click on the button and transform into a slider and a carousel. Now all the options of the slider will be available in this block. Actually, you can also add a slider not only as an image, but as any other content as well. There are many already set effects, but also you can create your own effects for the slider. The next interesting feature is Advanced Shape Dividers. It's available on both row and container blocks. They allow you to add many different shapes to your block, but unlike other plugins, you're not limited here to one color. You can use gradients as well. And uh, also there are shapes that consist of several layouts and you can use different colors for each of them and also you can animate them. The next interesting block is called 3D Flixbox. It's a type of container that consists of two other containers, one on the front side and one on the back side. You can add any content here and it will have such an interesting 3D effect. The next option is build sliding panels or pop-ups. This block can be used both as a construction of different panels and a construction of pop-ups. You can add any content on the panel and also there are available several types of clicks and hovers. This block can be also used to create a mega menu or different catalogs. On all GreenShift blocks, you can find an option Custom CSS Transform and Parental Hover Effects. It allows you to create interesting transformations and other effects. Also, you can create a custom effect when hovering the mouse. By default, hover effects start working when you hover the mouse to the element, but there is also an interesting option here, which is called Parental Transition. This means that you can add a specific class to your parental element and use this class for our hover effect. Now the effect will start working not when hover the mouse to the element, but when hover it to the parental element with the chosen class. Also, you can add a link to the whole block, meaning that the whole block will be working as one link. Hover effects work not only in transformation options, but also in other options, as for example in shadow options or for example border option. You can experiment with different values and create your own effects. Apart from hover effects, you can also create CSS infinite animations with a smooth movement between two values. It's also important to mention that all the values and all animations are generated very fast and easy and you don't need to worry that your animations will make your page heavier. Apart from adding a usual background, you can also add overlay layer transitions like this. You can also add animations to this layer. You can experiment with different values and get very interesting and unique effects. So as you can see, I am now creating a ripple effect by choosing different values. Also, there is an option use in view trigger for options for background. It allows us to animate our background when it appears on the page. You can also add many different filters and you can create, for example, such an effect, glass effect, which is very popular right now. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to know how to create such effects. Let's now go further to the next top feature, which is called Advanced Headings. 
This is a tool that allows you to work with any text and add it interesting effects. For example, you can enable the option Animated Header. You can add separate gradients to your animated words, like this, for example. Or you can also add different elements before and after the header, like this. There are many options here that you can use. You can set, for example, your spacing very flexible, as well as the typography. You can set a line. Additionally, you can also use masks for your text, like this one, for example. At the same time, a very flexible adjustment of the mask position is available here. The next feature allows you to animate anything. I will show you now this for a text. You can choose from the options that are already available here, or you can create your own animations. Also, uh, you can enable multi-text animation from here meaning that you can animate not only the block as a whole, but also the separate words and symbols. Please note that this animation addition is not for free. You can uh, purchase it in the Additions tab. Animation addition allows you not only to animate the blocks, but also to animate the child blocks. And let's check now how it works. So we click here on Enable Child Animation. Here. You can control the point of our animation. Uh, animation Edition has many interesting blocks and we'll check them on our next videos. Let's now go further to our next feature, which is called Query Loop Control. This is a specific WordPress constructor block that allows you to create a custom archive. If you transform Query Loop into container, you can add different design options to any position of your Query Loop. This also applies to the ability to create different hover effects and also to the ability to add shadows, borders, backgrounds, and so on. You can additionally transform your block into a carousel. Additionally, in GreenShift plugin, there is also a premium query addition that allows you to complement your query block with a dynamic element. For example, you can add a wish list, as you can see here. You can also set a position of your icons, like this. You can also add a voting element. I will show you now how. And also there are many other dynamic elements and we will talk about them on our next videos. Let's now talk about the next feature called Use Real 3D Models with AR. You can use these models in an additional reality on mobile phones. As you can see, we can just click on the button and move the model of our website and check how it's going to look like in a reality. This is a free of charge option that everyone can use in GreenShift plugin. The next feature is TOC with sticky option, meaning the ability to create a dynamic con content and it works based on titles. Here there is a duplication option of your content in a floating panel. 
This option is also optimized for mobile devices. In GreenShift plugin, there are four point setting that you can use when creating a responsive website. And you can set all the options separately for each screen resolution. Also, in some of the blocks, you can create floating values that are calculated automatically depending on the width of the screen. Moreover, you can hide a block separately for any of the resolutions. In this video, we have checked different features and almost all of them were free of charge. But as you know, there are also premium additions that give you more options for the blocks. At the time of this video, there are three additions. The first one is a marketing addition. It adds a lot of optimized blocks that allow you to earn additional money on the website and to improve search positions of your website. Also, these blocks are optimized for mobile devices. The second addition is an animation addition. It allows you to create more complex animations on your website. We will talk about this addition in one of our future videos, so please subscribe and stay tuned. And the third addition is a query addition. It allows you to create different dynamic blocks on your website based on your posts or products. It also supports the creation of custom panels like ACF, to set and many others. So this is all for today. Have a good day and see you in the next video.